hello guys so in the last few days we have discussed about what you should come with if you're coming to uae for the first time we have discussed about that so i thought that is not uh perfect if i talk about what you should come with if you're coming to united arab Emirates without talking about what you should not come with they all work together there are some certain things that you come with and there's some certain things that you don't come with so follow me to the end of this video where we talk about the things that you don't have to come with if you are coming to uae especially in search of job if you are coming here to look for job this is the things that you don't have to come with if you are leaving your country it doesn't matter if you are from any part of africa but as long as you are coming to uae you should not come with these things follow me to the end of this video when we discuss about it and don't forget like this video before we go and also if you're part if you're already new in my channel if you're new in my channel kindly subscribe if you're new in my channel kindly subscribe and also don't forget to like my name is christian mino and let's go to the real deal Hey yo, ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Chris Amilo. Welcome back to another episode of Life in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. Today we are going to discuss about the continuation of what you should bring in, the, in uh, if you're coming to UAE for the first time. So in this topic, we are going to be discussing about what you should not come with, what you must leave behind if you're coming to United Arab Emirates. Don't forget, where there is... Uh, uh, anything that is profitable there is also something that is non profitable there so we are going to talk about what you should not come with in the United Arab Emirates so uh, the first the first one that we have here is you must not come with pride you know that is the first that I wrote here you must not come with pride you know when I'm talking about pride, I'm talking about the ego that you feel like you have already been on top of the world in your country. Like you have drive this kind of cars, you have so so building, you have so so you had so 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 business before you finally come to UAE. So with that ego or with that kind of pride, uh, prideness or pride, you might get yourself uh, not be able to secure a job because. No, be everybody go fee help you. Not everybody that will help you with such lambas. Listen, you come to here to search for job. Somebody that you want you, that you are looking up to to look for job for you are telling him that in Nigeria I am driving a Range Rover Sport. In Nigeria, in fact, I have a, a business, big business. Then what is the answer that is going to help you look for job? No, he will feel like you are better than him, so you should be the one helping him. So I will also have, if you actually came with that particular thing, which is pride, the bad side of pride, because for me, I, I have, there's two sides of pride for me. There's the, the, the pride that you know that, that there's pride that comes with self-confidence and there's pride that, uh, that comes with a uh, bad ego. So we are going to talking about that bad side of the pride. Now it's going to make you lose job offer. If you come with pride, it will make you lose job offer. Why? Because in UAE, as long as you are new in the UAE, you are going to get jobs like cleaning, helper, you know, all those uh, minor jobs, you are going to get it, the offer. And maybe those companies are ready to do your visa. And because of your bad ego, because of your bad ego, you will be able to lose that job because you think, ah, I will not stoop so low to work uh, that kind of work. Meanwhile, you never, you know, get shishi for Nigeria before, but you just carry lamba. Come here to come deceive yourself. Listen, in UAE, nobody is bigger than anybody. Everybody is equal. Everybody is equal. The government of UAE made it very clear that everybody is equal. They made life so easy for everybody to live equally. You get it? 
So now, the other thing is again is that, like I said, you will lose helper. You are going to lose helpers, like people that my my look at well, my because a lot of times people I see people and I feel like these people they need help, they actually need jobs. But if you don't appear like you need job, bro, nobody is going to help you. Understand? If you appear like you have ten million in your account, what they will be targeting is how to get that ten million out of your account. Nobody to help you get job. You get. So I want you to also know that, and it will also make you uh, blind. It will blind you to see uh, when a job with a good offer is coming. You know, listen. At the beginning, jobs that that start with good offer does not come to you direct. Understand? It comes like corner corner. Understand? Sometimes you might be called for an interview. Maybe they will tell you that is. Uh, maybe a cleaning company, you know, or or uh, let's just aluminium companies or any company that is just was underrated, you know. But instead of you to start there thinking that maybe from there you might God might from there lift you up, maybe from your past because of your past experience, but because of your ego, because you don't want to stoop so low to work that kind of work, then you will lost the opportunity. So. It is totally for you, and it will take you back home. It will take you back home, or it will lead you to abscond, you know. Because definitely, after all this, your mini, 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 before, before you know, three months is already gone. And if you don't have money, because if you don't have money to make a, a vital extension of visa change, you will be, you will go into overstay. Understand? Or you have to don't have a choice to go back to Nigeria. Or if you don't want to go back to Nigeria, you enter overstay if you don't have money to do of this extension. And note, nobody is ready to assist you in this way. Just get them for here. No thing say if you come, you have friends that you borrow hundred thousand from. It doesn't work here. Understand? So the number two things is that over loudness, you have to leave it at home. Understand? I understand one thing that Africans we are loud. You know. That sometimes people uh, misunderstood us, then they take our loudness like our like rudeness. You know, sometimes that is the way that we talk. You know, sometimes you will see some African guy just round together. They will be discussing. You know, but other nationality that don't understand what they are saying might think that maybe these guys are quarrelling or something like that. So you have to minimize your tone of language. There's a way that you talk to people. And they will understand instead of shouting, so that is another thing. Then the one another thing again is dullness. You know, dullness. You want to be snail. When you're talking about dullness, I'm talking about your brain. Your brain doesn't function well. That if you if you if you start if you come to UAE, instead of you to be active like other people looking for job online you know trying to create a perfect cv to make online you you dull you sit down one place waiting for one agent to find work for you because you get the money for pockets see even if you have an agent that is looking for work for you keep trying online it is not uh it is not uh, a bad idea for you to keep on trying and also your agent can also keep trying so that is just it. You must kill dullness, and also you must remove uh, that Niger mindset. You have to keep it at the airport. So when you go back, you will also pick it back. But as long as you are coming to UAE, I would like you to keep away or drop that Niger mindset that you think that uh, uh, here is like Nigeria that you 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 don't want to be under anybody. You know that you don't want to be under anybody that if they say uh, come and clean uh, this one you will say you are not a slave or blah 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 those things you have to keep that your country mindset it doesn't matter if you are Kenya if you are Uganda if you are Nigeria if you are Ghanaian if you are uh, French if you are I mean uh, uh, what they call it um, Cameroon or if you are any part of African country and you want to come here that's your country mindset. Leave it there. Leave that African mindset there. When you go back, you can pick it up. But here, 
you have a new you have to you have to born you you have to reborn again like you want you have to be born again you know but this time around is not uh born again in you understand so but you have to but you have to everything about you need to change your body language everything has to change so that is it if you truly want to get job in this UAE, this is exactly what you should do uh, this is just a tips uh i believe i don't know everything but the ones i know the little one i know in my head i can just give out if you also have a little to add to it you can also add your own but this is only one i have to offer i don't have any other thing to offer this is the only one i have to offer so i believe that uh even if you cannot understand even if you cannot learn everything that i just said or if you don't believe in everything that i just said i believe that you learn one or two things and that is the reason why this channel is created my name is christian milo don't forget the channel is everything that has to do with united arab Emirates, with the jobs and employment and here we they have discussed about a lot of things if you're still wondering uh the the channel the the video that we discussed about uh, the things that you must or you should bring if you're coming to uae kindly click this video click here and watch the video then you will understand where we are coming from before this video so ladies and gentlemen my name is chris amilo keep supporting keep liking do not leave this video without liking also invite your friends to also like if you touch in your heart kindly share my video to your facebook or chat for your to your facebook page or facebook uh, account or also share to some whatsapp groups that need the information for people that need the information because a lot of people are trying to travel abroad but they cannot get the right information and that is why this channel is here uh, ladies and gentlemen thank you guys and god bless keep supporting chris amelo and this is life in dubai thank you guys peace